Dear students, as a part of working capital management, today we are discussing the topic estimation of working capital requirements. Okay, there are different methods for estimating working capital requirements. As a financial manager, he has to decide what is the total amount of capital to be invested as working fund or working capital. for his day to day operations so he has to use any of the methods for estimating the total working capital required and the first method that we will discuss is percentage of sales method as the name indicates in this method we will calculate each item of current assets and current liabilities as a percentage of sales so we will use the equation here as working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities each item in current assets and current liabilities are estimated as a percentage of sales this is a model question we will be given with a balance sheet all the items are there and also we are given that sales for the year ended 31 6 june 2011 is rupees 10 lakhs and it is estimated that the same amount will be the same will amount to 12 lakhs for the year 2011 12 that is in the present year sales is 10 lakhs and in the next year it will be 12 lakhs so we have to estimate working capital requirements under the uh, by keeping a relation between sales and working capital here we will consider the sales value for estimating working capital requirements okay here how we will calculate this is the format estimation of working capital requirements we will firstly show the sales in the current year in the 2010 11 it is 10 lakhs and we will provide another column as percentage of sales and last column estimate for 2011 12 that is for the next year there we will show the sales as 12 lakhs okay then we will use the help of the equation working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities so firstly we will list out the current assets from the balance sheet we will get the current assets as inventories sundry debtors cash and bank we will list out all these items and we will list the actual amount there and in the percentage column we will show the percentage of each item with regard to sales that is inventory inventory is 1 lakh and sales is 10 lakh so we will find the percentage as 1 lakh divided by 10 lakhs into 100 that is 10 then 70000 divided by 10 lakhs 7 10000 divided by 10 lakhs 1 so we will find the percentage of each current asset as a percentage of sales for the first year likewise we will total the current assets then we will show the current liabilities creditors there is only one item on the liability side as current liabilities sundry creditors so we will show sundry creditors 80000 80000 divided by 10 lakhs is equal to 8 percentage so we will show it as 8 current liabilities are totaled and the balance will be working capital current assets minus current liabilities so in the first year it is 1 lakh 80000 minus 80000 is equal to 1 lakh working capital is 1 lakh and we have to move to the last column estimation of working capital based on sales 12 lakhs how we will show the values for example inventory inventory is 10 percentage of sales so in the last column we will show 10 percentage of 12 lakhs that is 1 lakh 20000 sundry debtors as 7 percentage of 12 lakhs that is 84000 then cash and bank as 1 percentage of 12 lakhs that is 12000 then creditors as 8 percentage of 12 lakhs that is 96000 likewise we will estimate all the current assets and current liabilities then the difference will be working capital that is 1 lakh 20000 if this is a simple question for example uh, when we are approaching multiple choice questions competitive tests we need not go through all the stages simply find the sales first year it is 10 lakhs 
and the working capital is 1 lakh so lastly we have to find 1 lakh is the 10 percentage of 10 lakhs so 10 percentage so second year the sales is 12 lakhs so working capital will be 10 percentage of 12 lakhs that is 1 lakh 20,000 okay okay now I am giving you another question actually giving you a balance sheet for the year 2010 paid up share capital general reserve profit or loss account creditors provision for taxation non-current then provision for doubtful debts then building machinery goodwill investments stock debtors prepaid expenses cash balance okay then Additionally, I am giving you the data that sales for sales for 2010 is rupees 5 lakhs. Sales for 2010 is rupees 5 lakhs. And it is estimated that in 2011, the sales will amount to rupees 7 lakhs. Once more sales for 2010 is rupees 5 lakhs and it will amount to rupees 7 lakhs in the year 2011 okay based on sales you should find working capital requirement okay this is the question for you you have to try this question and additional information is that sales for 2010 is 5 lakhs and in 2011 sales will amount to rupees 7 lakhs Okay, estimate working capital requirements as a percentage of sales method. Okay, here we have to identify what are the current items and what are the non-current items. Generally paid up share capital, general reserve, profit loss account, then creditors is a current item. And provision for taxation generally we will take as current item or non-current item based on the situation. Now it is given that it is non-current item, so we need not take it. Okay, provision for doubtful debts is a current item. Then on the asset side, building, machinery, goodwill, investment or fixer items. Then stock is a current item, debtors is a current item, prepaid expense is a current item and cash balance is a current item. Okay, based on this data, you are required to calculate the working capital requirements as a percentage of sales. Are you clear? Okay, okay, thank you, thank you very much.